Target one. We are getting in line at 8 o'clock in the morning. Poor Dave has been dragged around to every Target. <laughs> we have one more to go to, I'm sorry. But we have a decent haul from this one. So let's cross our fingers and see if we can find more at the next Target. <laughs> We have decided no more Target, we're done. <laughs> so we found a couple of extra pieces, but for the most part, the collection is sold out, especially in the larger sizes. So I am super excited to get back to the house and show you guys what I think. I'm doing this video a little bit different. We're gonna do it like a first impressions try on type situation. So um, hopefully you guys like it. Babe is putting stuff in the trunk. Good job, babe. We're back. We went to a couple of Targets. We found a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna try it on. So from what I heard, the swim runs small, the clothes run big. There were not a lot of size options. So I don't know how any of this is going to work. Um, but let me show you what I got. The, and some I got some pieces that were not from the collection because I needed, I was like, I wanna keep it all Target, so. This doesn't, it was styled with it. Anyway, so the first thing um, I got is this skirt, which was so pretty. Um, I got it in a 2X immediately. I'm like, I think this is gonna be too big, but it's a non stretch fabric, so I don't know. But look at this print, you guys. How cute is it? It's so cute. It's tiered. I hope it fits. If I love it enough, I'll like have it taken in. I wanna do, I wanna look like a tropical dessert. That's the goal with this one. So let's try it on. Okay, so here is the skirt. I picked up this bodysuit at Target, by the way, because I saw it style there, and I'm like, oh, you know what? This would be cute. So I feel like the skirt is just way too big. Um, this is a 2X, which is normally my size, um, and I would say this would easily fit, I don't know, probably a 22, 24. Um, pretty print. I feel like I just, like, it's it's swallowing me. I can't pull it off, but here it is in the back. I really like the style. I just don't think it works for me, but the fit is not so much. I'd have to have it taken in considerably to get like the fit that I want. And even then I still feel like it's not perfect, but God, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, the next dress I got is this polka dot thing. Um, I tried to ask Dave if he liked anything and he was just, it was too, too early and he just didn't care. Um, so we're finding out together. So I got this in a, I think I got this in a 1X. It looks really, really big and really, really floofy. And um, I'm excited because anything that feels like a moo moo is like, a, I'm a big fan, <laughs> like a big fan. I know, I'm sorry, but I am. I'm a big fan of things that are like a moo moo. I just, I like it. Um, I will pull, put a belt on because I think I'm gonna put this on. You guys are gonna hate it, but let's try it on, see how it fits. Oh, by the way, the skirt was 32. This dress is 30 bucks. So if it works, 30 bucks for a dress is not bad. I don't know if there are pockets. If there are pockets, this is gonna be hard. Oh, <laughs> oh, did I find Ann Pocket? Oh, you guys, there's pockets. This might not be going back. You can put your pretzels in your pockets. It's a good place for snacks, right? Okay, let's try it on. <laughs> I wish you could see his face because his eyes were like, why? Right, is that kind of your face? Yeah. yeah. Um, here's the deal. Okay, just like, again, come with me on a journey of being on vacation, knowing that you're going to hit that buffet hard. Like, like this is the plan, right? Like, do we not want to be wearing this? Like, do we not want to be like in an oversized moo moo? I'm not mad at it. Now I know, I know you guys are gonna feel the way he does. You're gonna be like, Crystal, that is a shapeless sack of spots. It is. I like a shapeless sack of spots. Well, I don't like a shapeless sack of spots, but I like a shapeless sack because I feel like they're really versatile. So this one, I do like the swinginess of it. I feel like it's fun. I feel like I'd wear it, but I know how you guys feel. So I grabbed a belt. Let me show you. Now, now everyone's gonna be happy because if we cinch our waist, everyone is happy. Look, how cute. Watch, we put a nice belt on. I think this is one from ASOS, it's pretty old but I'll link something similar down below. But like, imagine you have your belt on. I would like to imagine that I currently would have this belt on. 
There we go. Okay, see, see, now everyone's happy, right? We have some waist stuff finishing, we break up the pattern a little bit. So just because you buy a dress and you put it on and it turns into a shapeless sack does not mean that you don't keep it. It means that you work with it. So throw a belt on if you prefer to have your waist snatched. If you don't want to have your waist snatched, wear it like a moo and you'll be super comfortable. But um, again, I don't know how I feel about the polka dots. I've never been a fan of polka dots. I feel like maybe it's a little too vintage for me. But I don't know, there's something about the cut of this that's kind of winning me over. Okay, okay, wait. Wait, wait. I feel like I bring in the lemon and like now it's like less retro pinup and more Kate Spade with like a quirky little lemon bag. See, now I'm feeling a little more on board. I'm feeling a little more on board. Do you like my lemon bag? Can you hear the head shake? It was very violent. I feel, I don't know, now it's pulling Kate Spade for me with the lemon bag. Or maybe not with this bag, but like a Kate Spade, you know one of those like weird bags that she does? I feel like now, now we're talking. Now we have like a theme. Now we're fruity, we're fun, we're playful. I, I could get in, I can get into it with the lemon bag. Yes! A barbecue on the 4th of July, but I'm Canadian, so like I'm not in it too much, but like I'm, I'm supporting the lemonade that is served on 4th of July. I'm here for it. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to warm up to this because of this. What do you guys think? I'm here for the lemon. Okay, obviously I got swimwear. There were a couple of suits that I liked. One was a green and white one. I'll pop it right here so I get this is really pretty. I just don't like a halter. I just like, I don't know. I have like, I've been carrying these for like 30 years. I really don't want to sling them around my neck. It's so much work. So I saw this set and I thought, you know, we'll have a go. So this is really cute. Yeah. There's a lot going on, but we'll see if it'll work. I hate backs like this, but I am, I am very, very, very hopeful that this will look adorable. So let's try it on. Okay, swimmy, okay. So I got the bottoms into 3X because I heard that the swimmies ran small. They're a little big, but I feel like because of the cut, like it's a little lower than a typical high rise, which you'd probably get like to my natural waist. Um, I'm good with the sizing on it and I feel like the top is really nice, so 3X and a 1X. And I feel like we're okay. I feel like we're okay. Decent in the back, is it pulling? No, it's staying straight. Oh my God. Okay, that I didn't expect. If you saw my FTF haul, I think it was, that gold one was like dying. And I was wondering if this one was gonna do that too, but it's not. I was literally not expecting to keep this. I think I might, are we keeping it? Someone is happy. Okay. I feel like everything I thought I would hate in this haul, I love, and everything I thought I would love, I hate. So anyway, I think this means a winner. Someone is too shy all of a sudden to not run his mouth on camera and said that this hat would look great with what I have on and I disagree. I think it looks awful. I think this hat is awful. I feel like I look like a hybrid of like a Salem witch and a cowboy lost in Joshua Tree. Is this not the worst? It looked darker. It did look darker. <laughs> This is the worst hat I've ever put on my head. Tabitha Brown? Brown, yeah, Tabitha Brown. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm sure this hat looks great on someone. I'm not, I'm not the one. Okay, well that hat was terrible, so let's move on to something we hope will be a little better. This at $35, I don't know, I do like this. It is kind of, you know, up my alley with like in bright pink. I think it's so cute. Um, let's try it on. Does it also have pockets? This is very, Important in oh, I feel it. I feel the pocket <laughs> Okay, so here's this dress I switched my lens so that you guys can see all of it at once and so ignore the mess I was hiding it from you I was trying to like shield you from it and I needed this lens so you guys can see the whole thing so um, It is a cute dress. I think from the front. It's not too bad, but from the side It's not so great and then it's really too big. So this is a 1x um, so I believe the straight size goes from like extra small to XL and then 1X to 4X. So um, I feel like like when I was pregnant, I would have loved this dress, honestly, because I would have had a lot of tummy space. But um, I do feel like it's too big for me now, and I do feel like 
there's just too much space in the back. I do like the pockets. I do think the pockets are fantastic. Color is great. Quality is there. The little straps are adjustable, but I just don't think that this is the right one for me. Okay, so someone has an opinion about fruit on clothing. Food on clothing, but fruit on clothing. Now you and I have been together for about seven years now, I think we've been doing this whole YouTube thing, six, seven years. My camera's out of focus, kind of, thanks, great. And um, he's only been around like a year. So I don't know how important it is that he doesn't like fruit on clothes because we like fruit on clothes. Like we've been together a long time. Like we, you know, I trust you guys. So you have to let me know what you think. Linen, it's a off the shoulder. So that's definitely up my alley. We have a little bit of a puff sleeve. We have a little bit of a tie waist. Um, I look delicious already. Like I do look like a fruit salad and I'm here for it. So like part of me cares that you don't like fruit on shirts and then a big part of me is like, then don't wear fruit on shirts and it sounds like a you problem. Okay, this top is fun. It's fun, it's a 1X. It's big, but it's, I don't know, I thought it would be longer, but it's nice, it's a little crappy situation. I love the off the shoulder. I love all the fun, colorful fruit, even though somebody doesn't like fruit on clothes. We're still gonna wear fruit on clothes. Um, I think it's adorable. I love how bright and fun the print is. The fabric is linen, so it's a lot thicker than I personally can handle here in Arizona in the summertime. It was like 114 yesterday. But I do think it's cute. I do like the waist definition I'm getting. And I love the shoulder, the off the shoulder moment. Um, and I really like the print. I think it looks really cute with jeans. It's a nice little statement top. Do we like? No, we're not a fan because of the fruit. Okay, last little bit. I love these kind of things. You guys know I love these kind of things. It's like a wrappy thing that you put over your swimsuit and or wear around the house like a house coat. I like this print. I feel like a pretty butterfly. So let's see how it looks on. Okay, so I put on the wrappy bit. This is an extra large in the straight sizes. So, so far my thought is that this should be the one to fit me the best. And it kind of does. I mean, I will, I will say by normal target sizing schema, the extra large should not even come this close to being able to fit me like at all. And I threw on, I just have the bodysuit on, but um, I feel like this is a really nice like house coat. Like I'd wear it with like, you know, just a bodysuit or like over a swimming or something. I feel like it's nice. It has pockets. The fabric is great. I'm just shocked at the fit because like, I feel like if the 1X is way too big that the extra large should be the right fit, but it's not. But regardless, look at this beautiful fabric. Like this is just, just stunning. I feel like the most beautiful Miami flower ever. Last thing, someone has mentioned not a fan of fruit on things, not a fan of fruit bags. So of course they picked up the lemon. I thought that was, I think it's cute. I think it is so cute. Um, and yeah, I just, listen, it fits my phone. Um, and also it like just adds a little bit of a treat to my outfit, so. What do you guys think? I think it's delicious. I think it's pretty cute. Okay, so I'm just, I just bought this at Target. I saw it and I thought it was so cute. You guys, it has nothing to do with anything other than it's adorable and it's an adorable little crop top. Anyway, so that was it for the Tabitha Brown try on. Um, so it was weird. A lot of the things that I thought I wasn't gonna like, like the swimsuit in particular, I loved. I thought it was great. Um, and then also the black and white polka dot dress, the more I wore it, the more I was like, you know, was styled correctly will pour, pull more Kate Spade than vintage, but like vintage in a 50s way, not vintage in a, I don't know, like rockabilly kind of way. Um, and then the wrap I thought was great too. A couple of the dresses, I just think the sizing was a little all over the place for me in particular, but I know that I have a complicated body type and that things rarely fit me correctly anyway. So um, what I will recommend if you're gonna pick this up is to get your one size down, just kind of overall. Um, and I do feel like because the cut is bigger that like we can really fit probably up to a size 28 wearing this line easily. Um, even though the fabrics are non-stretched, the way that they're cut is just really generous and therefore I think just really suits a large range of body types. The swimmies, um, I wouldn't necessarily agree that they run really small. I think they're very true to size. 
um, maybe a true to size on the smaller side, but like really, I feel like, you know, a 3X Target swim bottom, it fit like a 3X Target swim bottom. And if I if it were a higher waisted, I probably would have sized down, but I don't want anything that tight, that low on my hips. I kind of like how it fits. So, okay guys, so that is it for us and this <laughs> take you around Phoenix while we search for Tabitha Brown Target collab and things. It, this was a wild haul of just ups and downs and just twists and turns and things that we didn't see coming and then things that we saw coming. And, uh, and the boyfriend we found out is very against fruit and fruit shaped bags in particular. Um, so let's all give him a round of applause and a big thumbs up in the comments for getting up at the butt crack of dawn and going all over town with me in a hundred degree weather, <laughs> hauling stuff around different targets so we can put together this video for you. So hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and follow me on TikTok and Instagram and all the other things that are down below. And I'm going to link this crop top too, because how great is it? This is my favorite thing I bought today. This, not the hat, definitely not the hat.